Look at this dude. It's a mayor movie. It's a mayor movie. It's a mayor movie. <laughs> Whoosh, fucking everybody. Welcome back to another video. If you haven't already done, so I say it in every video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Smash the like button, click that bell while you're at it so you can be a part of the poster of the game fam. Best family on YouTube, and that's no cat. And. <laughs> And if you've been rocking with the family, you already know what's up. You already know what to do. Throw it in the comment section. You've been rocking with the family. And then if you're new to the family, put it down in the comment section. You're brand new to the family. So everybody can welcome you to this family. This great community that we got. <laughs> hey, man, take the time. Um, if you've got to pause the video, if you wait to the end, that's cool. Don't forget. But check out my description down below. All social media links are gonna be down there. So if you guys wanna catch up with me outside of YouTube or my other YouTube channels, go down there, no cap. But hey man, we are here for one reason and one reason only. We got SML movie, The Alien Attack. Oh! This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna do less talk and more reacting. Let's dive right into this video. Let go. So guys, what do you want to do tonight? Oh dude, turn on the TV so we can watch LeBron James. Oh, doesn't LeBron, LeBron James, James play with his son? Oh, dude, pause. Yes, he plays basketball with his son. You have to say basketball. But LeBron James is the first player to play with his son. Why are you saying it like that? You're just repeating it. Say it right. Okay, hey Cody, you want to watch LeBron now? Nah, more of an Iman Shumpert kind of guy. What's old Shump doing these days? He hasn't been in the league in years, dude. He's out there shumping it up. Wait, why does Ken have a tiny Cody on his arm? Oh, well I caught somebody on a naughty website. So now, instead of looking at other guys, you can just look at me. He's a dog, dude. He can't get on a website. He's not a he a dog, dude. <laughs> Well, what website was he on? Hasbro. He's looking at Mr. Potato Head ass. Mr. Potato Head ass? Yeah, the head, the ass, all of it. And it really upset me because I don't even know which hole he was fantasizing about. The ear holes, the arm holes, the eye holes. Oh, well, you know, jeeving with your left hand is crazy. Yeah, he is left-handed. Okay, well, let's watch some LeBron. Yes. Oh, dude, no! You turned on Dr. Finkel shit! Okay, let me change it. I really want to watch LeBron play with his son. Bro, stop saying that. You're gonna make me hate basketball. Wait, hold on. Let's see if it's a rerun. Hello! I am Dr. Friedrich Finkel shit, and today I have invented this machine to detect alien signals from outer space, and determine they are really trying to contact us. I will now input the coordinates. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, I think I'm getting a signal. You digging in me. You digging in a nigga. Yes, kid! Um, I, I think I have this pointed at my neighbor's house. Um, maybe this is better? Uh, maybe? December 3rd, 2024. We will kill as humans. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't catch that. Could you speak up? I said December 3rd, 2024. We will kill as humans. Oh my god! I swear, if we ever have an alien attack, I'm just gonna down a bottle of tequila and just call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> that is today! Everybody run for your lives! Oh my god! Oh no! An alien invasion before GTA 6? Guys, it's just a TV show. Oh my god, Ken! Please get some help! Cody, being serious, that there might be an alien- Ken is obviously a horny mother- <laughs> Invasion today! Guys, Dr. Finkelshits is just a TV show. I think Ken might actually be addicted. Dude, you know you had to Google search Mr. Potato Head's ass and then put it in his hands. What? No, I'm not doing this. Ken just has a problem. <gasps> News! Breaking news! Breaking news, okay? Alien 
Europeans have sent a video to Earth threatening to kill all humans today. The Secretary of Defense is holding a press conference, and we'll go to that now. My fellow Americans, today we received a rather threatening message from an alien saying he was going to come down here on Earth and open up a can of whoop-ass. Well, I got a message for you, Mr. Alien. We got a can opener and a bigger can of whoop-ass with even more whoop-ass in it. And it's one of those easy-to-open cans that has a little pull tab on it. But if you can't open that up with your weird little alien hands, we got a can opener so you can open it up and eat all your whoop ass because we got an all-you-can-eat whoop ass buffet we got a golden corral of whoop ass breakfast whoop man i low-key miss golden corral i low-key want to go back look i'm gonna look up if we got a golden corral in here uh in houston i think we do to be honest but golden corral it be bussy <laughs> whoop ass lunch whoop ass dinner whoop ass dessert upside down whoop ass cake and then maybe when you get done eating you can meet our actress e goldberg we took the whoop out of her name and put it in a can of ass, and we made whoop ass. So if you're hungry for whoop ass, come on down here so we can feed you. And if you're not hungry for whoop ass, don't even come down, because that's all we have to eat. Okay, God. All right, that was a good message back to the alien. <laughs> As I feel comfortable knowing the military has so much whoop ass. Heck yeah, dude. If the aliens touch down here, they're going to have to deal with LeBron James. Oh, Ooh. yeah, LeBron James stopped aliens in Space Jam 2. Heck yeah, dude. He's a part of the space defense. Actually, there were no aliens in Space Jam 2. It was it was all just an algorithm, and his name was Algae Rhythm. Huh? I, uh, aren't there aliens in Space Jam? Yeah, I could have sworn it was. Well, I've seen the first one, not the second one. Yeah, me neither, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's no aliens in... I've watched both of them. <laughs> Space Jam 2? No, no, it's all, like, computer stuff. Like, like Algae Rhythm kidnaps LeBron James's son and traps him in the Warner Brothers database. Wait, LeBron James made a movie with his son playing with his son? Wait, wait, dude, stop <laughs> saying it like that. I'm gonna kick your ass. Well, no, it's actually not his son. It's an actor playing his son. They get an actor to play his wife, too. It's weird. Why didn't LeBron James just get his actual son in the movie? I... Bro, I'm f***ing dead. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like they could have done that. Oh, yeah, and Bugs Bunny dies at the end. But what? Then, yeah, like, kind of. But then he shows up again later in the real world, and I don't know how the hell that... I got Bugs Bunny tatted on my leg. <laughs> that works. And then Batman's there, and Rick and Morty. This like, movie's trippy. Uh, is Rick and Morty playing basketball? No, no, they don't play basketball. They just kind of, like, watch, I guess. And then, you know, it's like everybody that Warner Brother owns the rights to shows up for the big basketball game. And he's, like, playing against other basketball players, but they're all weird. Like, there's a spider lady and a snake lady. And what is that eyebrow guy? Uh, Anthony Davis? Yeah, yeah, him. He's like a bird man, and his name is The Brow. And then there's a guy who can, like, stop time, and that's a problem. There's no way LeBron could beat all those people. Well, he does. He does do it. It's hard, but he does he it. Does. Wow, does he, he have does. superpowers? I mean, other than being LeBron James, no. That, that's a superpower on some power, definitely. Uh, excuse me, sir. What is it, Lieutenant Gar? Our radar has detected a UFO entering Earth's atmosphere. Oh, that sounds like a hunt. You better have a lot of whoop ass. You're <laughs> alien. You must have seen my commercial for whoop ass. Poor little fella must have thought we were going to run out. But we're never going to run out of whoop ass. We're overstocked. Right, so what is it you actually want to do? Well, does that little alien fuck have Uber Eats or DoorDash? I, I don't think so. Because I personally want to deliver him a can of whoop ass. Get a five-star rating. Wait, you personally? Yeah, that's right, boy. Go fuel up a jet. Make sure you pack lots of cans of whoop ass. Sir, you do realize we don't actually have cans of whoop ass. I know that, boy. I'm talking about nukes. I'm talking about rockets. Now hurry up. I don't want that whoop ass to get cold. Uh, yes, sir. And make sure you pack utensils and salt and pepper. Nobody likes unseasoned whoop ass. Get dipping. Says I'm supposed to deliver to... I love how he's he's referred it to as DoorDash. <laughs> what? Pussyville. Give it to a pussy-ass alien. Oh, there you are, alien. Hey, are you the one who ordered a can of whoop ass? Extra whoop. Hold the ass. Fuck. <laughs> Freaking guy said, fuck. <laughs> well, rest in peace to you, my boy. Oh. I guess the alien was not hungry for whoop ass. Maybe he stopped at McDonald's first. Well, I guess that makes me Maybe. the Secretary of Defense. And I don't want that to happen to me, so I think the best course of action would be for me to go home and order some Taco Bell. Yeah. Yep. Chalupa. Okay, so Al? Me, I would go back home, order some Instacart, and get some tequila. <laughs> G-Rhythm kidnapped LeBron James's son, but it wasn't really LeBron James. I don't care anymore. I just want to know if Lola Bunny is hot in this one. Not as much, but also I'm gay, so you're asking the wrong guy. Okay, so was Space Jam too good? No. Okay, well, I think they should have made Space Bam, a football movie with Looney Tunes with Tom Brady. Oh, yeah, and then the other team is nothing but girls, and then for, if they lose, oh, they have to show their feet so Tom can lick them. <laughs> Freaky ass. There's someone at the door. Hold on, guys. Hello? Greetings, Earthling! The aliens from Toy Story! Correct! Which movie? Oh, shit, they made, like, 
four of those. They're making a fifth one. Uh, They're making a fifth one? For real, for real? Oh, I'm excited. Toy Story 1. Correct! Oh, what are you guys doing here? Ember is there. He's trying to kill us and probe our asses. Oh, no. Well, you guys can hide in here. Thank you. You, you saved, saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. Okay. Who's at the door, Junior? Wait, where's Joseph? Oh, he went to the bathroom. He kept talking about feet, and I think he had to jeeb. Oh, you spilled some on your shirt. Did I? Boo! God damn it, Junior, what's going on? Who are they? It's the aliens from Toy Story. You, you saved, saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. You saved their lives? Well, they said they needed a place to hide, and I said they could hide here. We will do anything to show our gratitude. Anything? Anything. Cody, go home. Go home, my boy. Anything? Anything. 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 Uh, Junior, I think... Cody... Come on now, you nasty than a muck. I swear. You should tell them to thank me personally. But Cody, they each have one less eye than you. Junior, what are you talking about? They have three eyes and I have... Oh, fuck you! Four eye freak! What are they doing here? Well, they said they're hiding from Emperor Zerg because he wants to probe their asses. Well, I think I need to have a little talk with this Emperor Zerg. Well, he's on the television right now. Attention, puny humans. I am Emperor Zerg. You will give me those aliens or I will probe all your asses. Oh, I'll definitely give up those aliens. You ain't touching my, bro. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way. <laughs> you have 120 seconds to decide. Oh, no. Don't worry, aliens. We're not going to turn you into Emperor Zerg. Junior, can you help me get my pants off? I want to make it easy for Emperor Zerg. No, Cody. We got to turn them in. I don't want something in my ass. <laughs> okay, more for me then. Uh, what the hell? What are y'all talking about? Oh, hey, Joseph. Well, these are the aliens from Toy Story 1. You saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. I saved their lives. They're eternally grateful. And um, Emperor Zerg wants to probe their asses. And until we turn them in, Emperor Zerg's going to probe our asses. Guys, don't worry about Emperor Zerg. That's just Buzz Lightyear from the future. No, Cody. Lightyear sucked. Lightyear's not canon. Yes, it is, Junior. It says right at the beginning of the movie, that's the movie Andy watched. Oh, yeah? So Andy watched Lightyear, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So then why weren't these aliens in the Lightyear movie? Because in the Lightyear movie, there's no fucking aliens, but in Toy Story 1, there's these aliens. So why are they selling merch of aliens if they're not in the movie? Because in the TV show of Buzz Lightyear, these aliens are in the show. Doesn't yeah. make any sense. And also, why in Toy Story 1, why was there no cat? You know, the cat You know the cat that's in the Lightyear movie? I'm sure they would have made merch of that cat in the Lightyear movie. And I'm sure Andy would have wanted the cat to go with his Buzz Lightyear doll. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, no, it's so stupid. It's really dumb. And also, we, we should probably get Buzz Lightyear's help. Buzz Lightyear, get in here! I am Mrs. Nesbitt. <laughs> no, he is not going to be any help at all. He just found out he's a toy. Yeah, he loaded. Yeah, like a baked potato. Or like Herbie. Fully loaded. There's someone at the door. Hold on, guys. If it's Zerg, I won't let him in. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know I accidentally ordered Taco Bell to your house because I'm over here a lot and I forgot to change the address on the app. I've done that before. I ain't no cat. <laughs> so I just want to let you know that so you don't think I'm stealing a package or something. Oh, okay. What'd you order? Oh, uh, a chalupa. Extra sour cream, of course. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be. So you work for the military? Yeah, yeah, I do actually. Oh, well, there's two aliens on my couch upstairs. Ah, well, I'm actually off duty right now. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of duty later after I eat this Taco Bell, you know, in the toilet, because it makes me shit. Oh, well, the alien said that if we don't turn them into Emperor Zerg, we're gonna get our ass probed. Well, nobody's gonna want to probe my It's gonna be a minute before I eat Mexican food again, because I told y'all, what, the other day, I had food poisoning because I ordered uh, Chipotle. Chipotle. <laughs> um, and right after I ate it, I started puking and everything, bro. I was in pain for days days and that's why i wasn't uploading bro it's gonna be a minute i used to love mexican food but i can't eat it no more it's it, it's gonna be something different from now on at least until i get over my fear <laughs> my ass from all the all the all the duty i'm gonna have a poopy ass what do you want to say hi to the aliens you know what yeah yeah i do so there are the aliens oh they're toy story aliens i didn't know that movie was real yeah so apparently emperor zorg wants us to turn them in or he's gonna probe our asses why is your shirt off i was promised a good time Puny humans you're t well cody you got your you got your wish is up. and there he is quick everybody run come on emperor zorg give me all you got i can take it shove it in shut it right cody go home bro just go home um, you can have the aliens. Yeah, please take them. Come here! Those tight asses are mine! Oh no! Our tight asses! No! It should have been me! Okay, um, well, 
the earth is saved, huh? Yeah. So I'm just going to go home and eat my Taco Bell. I will lock the door behind you. Yeah. Now, Sorry, I ordered my food to your house. I'll make sure I check the address next time. Did you happen to order any extra chalupas? No, I just ordered enough for me, you know, because it's mine. I don't usually order more food for other people because it's not really my problem. These humans will kill you. But kill us? Why? We already solved the problems. They're just left. Well, if you give us our own kids back. And obviously, she got her foot in her mouth. Her feet, I should say, because it's b both of them. Get, get your feet out your mouth. Get your feet out your mouth! If you give us our alien kids back, we won't kill you. Oh, those were your kids? Well, look, we don't have them. Zerg already took them. What? what? Where's Zerg? Where are you there? I don't know. Fucking space. Wherever planet he lives. I don't know. I just want to go home and eat my Taco Bell. What's you want? A chalupa with extra sour cream, of course. Get back. My chalupa! Damn, Brooklyn guy, you just got robbed by some aliens. I'll we'll see you next year. Come on, bro. Next year? Next what do you year. mean next year? What does he mean next year? Is he coming back next year? What? But my chalupa! God, God damn it, now I gotta wait till tomorrow to get another one. I don't want it tomorrow, I want it now. It's just been a whole day. I wish he killed me. You would have rather died than get your chalupa stolen? Yes, actually, I would. I want to be dead. You like, want to be dead? I want to be dead because I don't have a chalupa. If I had a chalupa, I'd want to be alive. He really wanted that Taco Bell, bro. <laughs> I, which I don't because I don't have a chalupa. Are they that good? They're that good, yes! <laughs> this makes me want to get a chalupa at this point and try it. Because I've never had a chalupa from Taco Bell. <laughs> what is the best food in the world? Uh, uh, seafood. And I said this the other day, too. Seafood is the best food. I used to say tacos and... Mexican food, but like I said, I I got some fear now. I, I can't even like smell Mexican food at this point because of that uh, food poisoning I had. But it's all good. I know I'll, I'll I'll get over my fear and I'll start eating my tacos again. But anyways, y'all, let me know in the comment section what your favorite food is, and if you made it to the end, I do greatly greatly appreciate it. Smash the like button, leave a comment down below, click that bell while you're at it, and until next time, I'm see y'all next time, and I'm out.